please welcome Karen Hardy. <laughs> Shimmy Jimmy, Jimmy Jordan at me, young lady. Um, a massive seven tens were awarded this weekend. Who thought the Dance Fusion would be such a success? Well, I think what was exciting about it, I think it challenged our professionals. I think everybody, the first time this has ever had this idea on the show, and I think each professional went, Mine's going to be the best ever first fusion. And uh -huh. I loved it. I love it when the professionals lift their game. OK, let's start with Denise and James. A bit of a shocker, bottom two for those two. Uh, a jive and a quick step they were doing. Now, Len made a comment that the flicks in the quick step were a bit too jivified. Is yes. that the word to use? Well, jivified, it's very interesting how nitpicking the judges are getting now. It's all about the technique. Do you remember all those weeks ago? I said, get it in early, get the technique right. And it, the foundations of the support will be there for you and here we go we're nearing the end now and we see here as we're going into this jive here these are the pendulum kicks that we're after and um, and I'm gonna give you a little demonstration yeah. we know that she got caught in the dress so we're going to ignore that but I just want to demonstrate a little bit here we go my demonstration okay, here she getting comes. more and more on the floor. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. okay let's hear it so when we're looking at a jive flick yeah. they're really quite I sharp love it when you and do we've that. got the knees working um, and it's got the real Latino freedom about it okay when we do dry um, when we do the quick step uh, flicks they're much lighter and freer and softer now what happened with this dance mm. is it was so fast James was clever in the sense that he chose what we call our wow dances. So of the five ballroom, you have the quick step, which is the wow dance. Of the five Latin, you have the jive. And they always dance last because that's that big impact. So he was quite clever. He stole those two, put them together and went for the wow effect. But really fast music, lots of choreography. And I think it just lost a little bit of the sparkle, the little bit of entertainment factor for me. However, the quality and the content that was in there was absolutely she incredible. Is doing amazing. Kimberly and Pasha, a very different weekend for them. Four tens, and they have the accolade of the highest score dance of the series. Did they deserve it? Was it brilliant? It was incredible. And what were we saying just last week? If they were going to break this 34, 34, 34, 34, it had to be a dance with a lot of gambles in it, and it had to absolutely come out and whack us all. Well, I think they're listening to us on a Tuesday because that's what we got. Now, talking about the fusion, this is what yeah. I want to show you. Look at the tango, and I've slowed it down and straight up into the cha-cha-cha. So Skills. I'm just going to give you another quick demo here oh, because this is really please. interesting. Two in one night, you're spoiling <laughs> us, Miss Hardy. Here right. we go. Now, right. look, let's imagine the tango, OK? Yep. So she's got to be in the closed hold position. She's got to be right down in the knees. In the knees. She's got to have body contact. She's got to get the head right the way up, strong staccato action, and then within one step, vroom, comes back right up. the way up, straight legs, hip actions, the Cuban movement in the body. So that fusion that they put in there was seamless. And Ooh. so clever. And so clever. So clever. Well done, Kimberly. Danny and Vincent and their Charleston and Quick Step. Darcy was saying that Danny has improved in technique and they finally got those tens they'd been hoping for. Uh, well deserved. Oh, welcome the diva. She's on the dance floor. I absolutely loved this dance. I thought it was brilliant. What I felt here, if we look at the, the steps that I've queued up here, which is their quick step, the difficulty of that movement, and then into the Charleston, the twisting of the feet. And But what I love, she's bringing her own feeling, her own emotion to it. So for me, it's pure dancing we're seeing now. It's not a numbers game. Yeah. It's not this is the choreography, this is the timing. She's actually bringing the dancers alive, bringing this dance alive for me, and I thought worthy of maybe one a more few, ten. Um, another ten we wanted for Danny. That I think that was said by lots of fans. Lewis and Flavia and their tango and rumba. How well did Lewis cope with fusing those two dances together? Do you think? I think the fusion was interesting. You could see it was definitely the rumba, and then you could see it was the tango. But what caught my eye is that Flavia took the gamble of using the rumba. Yes. Now look at. In the past, the men have looked terrible, the celebrities. Look at this beautiful basic, look at the hip action, look at the connection between the two of them, the softening of his body action. 
it was absolutely first class. That was check forward walks when, mm. you know, our celebrities in the past, men doing rumbers. I know, normally oh. you hear a man doing rumbers, you think, oh no, please don't make me watch it. And but what he a was gamble awesome. in the quarterfinals to take a slow dance where I said with James, he chose the two quick ones. Yeah. He'd nip those, we got cha chas and sams. She went slow. Slow means it can expose the technique. Okay. It can expose his timing because rumba has the four beats you and only on the that. three sets. So confusing. Really, really hard. So the quality of his dancing was superb. And then the change into that lovely tango action that we had, absolutely brilliant. It's so exciting and all so good now. Lisa and Robin. Now, Len said it was a bit predictable. Craig said that her top line was failing her. What did you make of Lisa's fusion? For the fusion. And it was definitely a fusion. It was beautiful. Robin, a very experienced professional. He knows what his job is. It's to hide her weaknesses and push those strengths forward. So what did he do? We had the big costume change and the big smile and it really hit home that that beautiful smile and that energy that Lisa brings to the floor was her selling point. There are weaknesses still in there. The okay. technique, we've got, there was bits of gapping. I've chosen a clip here. Mm -hmm. It's still falling apart, it's still bouncy. You know, it needs to be much more down in the knees. Um, but overall, she's still bringing us that entertainment on a Saturday night. My coach said to me one day, it's not all about the technique, girl. Get out and perform and make people happy. And I think that's what she's doing every Saturday. She's connecting with the hearts. At the end of the day, it's down to everybody at home. Okay. She did make a lot of mistakes, mm -hmm. but she was very clever in the way she covered it all up because other celebrities mm -hmm. that made that many mistakes, everybody at home said goodbye. So home. But they love Lisa. The nature. It's going to be so exciting this weekend. <gasps> I don't want it's any brilliant. of them to go. It's brilliant. Uh, thank you so much, Karen Hardy. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Time now to get to know our pro